success you've seen. There are things that you have allowed God to do in your life and God has shown you the fruit of that surrender. You've already walked in a lot of things that God has shared with you and declared for you to walk in. There are things you have already done. Yet God has given you this vision and God has given you this ability to see deeper and greater things. And I want to declare that as we were worshiping this morning, I saw a mantle of deliverance come over you. There is a deliverance that you are going to minister in. There is an anointing of deliverance when you are going to walk up on people. And you're going to come into their life and God is going to put in your ears. He's going to put voices. He's going to put words. He's going to put descriptions. And you're going to hear things. And you're going to begin to speak into their lives. And you're going to see chains begin to break and crumble in people's lives. Because God has put an anointing of deliverance upon you. You are not merely going to look. And and this is why God has chosen you for this. You're not going to look at where they fall short. Others will see that. You're going to look at where they fall short and there's a compassion that comes over you. There is a, a, a weeping that takes place when you see where other people are hurting. You know why they're bound. You know why they are caught up in the things they're caught up in. And that doesn't convince you to discriminate or, or discredit them or put them down. But rather just the opposite. You begin to intercede. You begin to pray. You begin to believe. You begin to speak out. And there are times when God has rushed over you and said go put your hands on them go lay your hands on them and begin to pray deliverance in them and you aren't sure you weren't sure if that would freak them out or if that would cause them to walk in that God says take the boldness that I have given you take the anointing and the glory of deliverance and go to those people and begin to speak to them in the name of Jesus Father that you would come God Holy Spirit that you would not just to be a teacher of your word, but Lord, he's going to be a, a, a teacher that sets free, that brings deliverance, not just a leader, not just someone who will be someone that others can follow, but he will deliver them so that they can follow. Hallelujah. There are a lot of people trying to lead today. There are a lot of people trying to bring people out. But it is so much work because they are bound up by this and bound up by that. And they're doing their best. And, and, and right now, the enemy is wearing out ministers. Hmm. He is wearing out men and women of God. He's wearing them down. But you are not going to wear down. Hmm. God says you are not going to be wearied and burdened down. Because before you lead... Before you bring people out, you're going to set them free and they won't be carrying nets. They won't be hiding in the luggage. They won't be trying to figure out how to get by or how to get through. They're not going to have those issues because you're going to be able to bring a delivering anointing to them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fill Him up. Fill Him up right now, God. Fill Him, God, with all that He's got to have. Fill him up with everything that he's got to have, God. Lord, put it in him. Lord, put it in him. Glory to you, Jesus. God, let him have it all. Lord, I believe he's not going to keep back anything from you. Let him have it all, God. Let him have it all, God. Glory, there it is. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to you, God. Come on. If you need prayer, you want prayer, let's come up while the while the anointing of God is excited 
and looking for someone's face to connect to. Let's just come up and let's join together in prayer. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you praise. Come on. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory. Come on. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Fall down, God. Come into this place, God. Come into this place, mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Father, your glory, your anointing, God, everything you have that is reserved for this day, we declare we want it, God. Father, God, boldness, confidence, Lord, God, the joy of God. Hallelujah. Lord, endurance that doesn't get defeated. By discouragement. Come on. Not defeated by discouragement. But causes us to rise up and press in even more, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God. Just continue to fill, God. Holy Spirit, continue to fill up in Jesus' name. God, continue to do all that you're going to do, God. Not halfway, but fully, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus.
Come on and worship Him. Come on. Come on and praise Him. We want Your glory, God. We want Your glory, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Everything You have, God. Come on, church. Come on, church. Hallelujah. You worthy, God. Hallelujah. You are worthy, God. Right now, in this room, if we can lift our hands. Father, we want more of your presence than what we've ever had before. Come on, church. More of your presence, God. Holy Spirit, that you would fill us up. You know, when I read the book of Acts, I see that Peter was filled with the Spirit again and again and again. He wasn't just filled one time. He was filled again and again and again. The presence of God kept coming into his life because the world kept trying to pull it out of him. Holy Spirit, fill us this morning.